So there have been lots of small business owners that have been operating business for years without a business license, right. mm -hmm. and you're saying, guess what, you need to pay now. You need to. to that must have been pretty difficult. It, you probably it found was. some business owners who weren't happy to see Roddy Dickinson's face. Not very much. Uh, anytime you're out there and, and going to the public and, and showing up with the government, right. Want right. more money. More. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it's difficult, but yeah. we got through it. And uh, most people out there are, are, are good people. They yeah. they understand it. Right. The cities have always had a business license. Yeah. Uh, so they knew what to expect. Yeah, it would and come at some point. It would come yes. at some point in time. Too. Well, the great thing is a lot of those folks have probably uh, supported you since then. I mean, they re determined, as you said, they knew they had to do it, mm -hmm. and then ultimately uh, stood up, uh, stood up even in your favor when you decided to run for office. Well, um, I hope so. Um, yeah. You know, you, you just have to get out there and, and treat people with respect and, mm -hmm. and, and, and treat them um, like they're your friend and, right. and, and work with them and, and get them to comply with the the ordinances that Orange yes. County passes now. Buddy, let's talk about some of the changes in the office since you took office as mm -hmm. treasurer in, was it 2005? You were elected in 04? I was elected in 04. And became uh, treasurer in January of 05, I guess? Well, or? actually in, in July of 05. Oh, okay, we okay, because you run on the fiscal year, okay. We run on fiscal year. not on the calendar year. Um, we have, um, Some of the biggest Got, changes. Biggest changes. Um, one of the first things that we did, we implemented an online banking system for. Oh, account. really? What is that? It's it's very similar to your own personal checking account, but just on a grander scale. Right. Uh, we can go in there and go online to our our main bank, uh, call up our accounts, get our account balances. We move money around through this. No different from your own. Wow. Um, account just probably like, different amounts. Just a little bit different amounts. Yeah. Uh, uh, of course, of course, I don't know, yours no, might be no, similar. No, no, very different, very different. <laughs> but uh, uh, we use it, uh, Horry County School District uses this same online system. Right. Uh, Solid Waste Authority, Airport, all use this online system. That's great. And, and it just makes each of those offices a little bit more um, efficient in how they handle their particular monies. Golly, that is critical. And has everyone embraced it well? Oh, yes, very well. Um, Another thing that we implemented too was the uh, online payment of taxes. Uh, that was probably back in 06 or so that we did this. Oh um, boy. So it's been around for a while. Uh, and of course, you know, everything's going to online system. Yeah. And Horry County's had that implemented for years. Mm. And we went out there and set that up so you can go onto our website, you know, click up your tax notice and you pay it online. Pay your vehicles online as well. That is tremendous. And you were doing both real property and personal property? Yes, real personal and vehicles. Right. Okay, and vehicles. And yes. vehicles online. Uh, another little program we started uh, about three years ago, which is really, I, I'm really pleased with, is our installment payment of tax program. Oh, yeah. Um, people pay a lot of taxes these days. Um, and this program allows them to break that tax notice up into five different payments. Mm -hmm. Now it's a prepayment, of course. It's okay. not in arrears. Yeah. Uh, you prepay your taxes. I send you a booklet. Uh, give you five coupons. Uh, I send you five return envelopes, and you can take your tax notice and divide it into five payments. That's tremendous. Then in October, I'll send you a bill for the difference. So, it, it helps a lot of people. Um, break up that tax notice into small increments yes. so they don't get hit with that big bill. Right. Mm -hmm. Is this someone, some, some, someone has to request this of your office? Yes, or? you have to request it. Right. Um, and right now we have over 3,000 um, parcels that are on this plan. So, and it's been growing every year. And this is for individuals or for companies anyone, or both? Anyone. That mm -hmm. is tremendous. I bet this is something a lot of people don't know about. Well, we, um, we have sent out flyers within our uh, tax notices, letting people aware of the program. Right. You can go online, download the application, uh, mail it in to us. Tremendous. Um, we set you up. Next February, you get a little booklet. That is wonderful. I'm so payments. glad you all do that. If a viewer mm -hmm. needs to, uh, and if they don't have internet access, of course they can call, call you us. and do it over the phone. It was at the 843-915-5470 number? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So they could call, or you mentioned the website. Is that OreCounty.org? www.OreCounty.org. Okay. Click on to the uh, financial section and right. hit treasure. Hit the treasure. And mm -hmm. there's probably some, are there yeah. some frequently asked questions there on the site as well? Um, or? 
we have um, redone our websites okay. for the treasurer, Good. the business license, Great. and um, hospitality fee section. Fantastic. We kind of got away from some of those frequently asked questions. Okay. Uh, sure. But we do have a lot of information out there Great. that is relevant to what you're looking for. There may not be questions after they read but that their info. answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully a lot of great answers. answers. Their answers. Golly, Roddy. Well, you know, you think about so many things that happen, and a lot of people just aren't aware of it. If they get a tax bill, they're not happy with the tax bill. It's a lot more. I bought a piece of property, and now my tax are a lot higher. Is that your fault? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take that. No, um, taxes is a, a, a three step process, really okay. a four step process. Yeah. Uh, once the, the property is recorded, of course, it goes to our register of deeds okay. uh, to record the deed. And then the assessor takes that information. They determine the value. Mm -hmm. All right, after that value is determined, they actually send that value to the auditor. So the auditor actually prepares the bill. Right. I collect what she prepares. Okay. So, but if you have a, a question about your assessed value, you need to contact the assessor. Okay. And, and they will, and of course you can appeal property values anytime. Uh, if you don't like the value, send them a letter and they will look into it. And then if there's a change, right, then they'll, um, of course, redo your bill. Sure. And I assume people though call your office because they see your name on an envelope and they say, this Roddy, he is <laughs> killing me. I can't handle this. Well, we do get a lot of calls, Greg. Yeah. We, we really do. Yeah. And we just went out there and, and, and fixed our phone system. Um, to hopefully to, to help direct people to the right place to start with. Um, right. You go through a little series of questions, and whichever question matches your problem, right. you hit that one, two, or three, Great. and it'll send you to the right place. Um, hopefully it, it'll help people without having to go through four or five different offices or sure. trying to find the right person to, to right. help them. But if you still can't get no help, call us. We'll be glad to. to uh, 915-5470. Golly, we'll that is critical. You. you know, when you think about that, because you are frustrated about something, you want to talk to somebody, and then you get on there and hearing uh, uh, numbers press that, that can be a little frustrating. But as you said, hopefully those mm -hmm. numbers will get them the question, the question answered a lot faster by really getting yeah. them to the department. Get them to the department. And it's only about 40 five seconds long so it's really not terribly long to listen to that's so, great um, that's great that's been working out good um, that's what we try to do is just try to help the public get to who they need to talk to um, and get their answers to their questions a lot more efficiently. that's great mm -hmm. and I assume that would be the, a similar answer if folks asked you what had been the most gratis, gratifying aspect for you in your now six years of service as Horry County Treasurer, what has been the part that has really made the biggest impact on you? Um, I, it's been many things. Uh, working with the people is always a, a satisfying thing, trying to help solve their problems. Uh, I'm real proud of, of how my staff is, is taking the challenge of, of, of making some changes within the, the Treasurer's office right. to help the public. Right. Um, I like my little installment payment program. I, yeah. I get more compliments on that. I love it. Than, than any of the, the little programs we've done. Also, another little program I'm real proud of is um, our little receipt program. Uh, yeah. It might not sound like much, but every tax notice that we receive, we have to give you a receipt. Yes. So we went out there and developed this little postcard looking thing. Right. Um, it costs a whole lot less to mail. It saves Horry County probably thirty thousand dollars a year oh, yeah. just in mailings and, and processing right and plus on that little card you can tear it off and if you got a comment that you want to make right good or bad yeah hopefully good yeah <laughs> I get a lot of good ones. you can send that to us and um, and we'll respond to you so that that's been real fun to, to see those little postcards come back in and and get feedback from the public that and I've made changes uh, from some of the suggestions that people based off of some comments, mm -hmm. that is right. tremendous. Just one suggestion that someone made that we we're getting ready to change is, whenever you get your vehicle notice, you don't see the assessed value on it. Right. All you do is see an amount. Right. No, you don't get a market value of the car. Right. So uh, hopefully, whenever we change over to our new vehicle form, it'll have that market value of your vehicle on it, so you can kind of look at the market value 
and see if it's valued correctly. That is tremendous. Mm -hmm. Golly, Roddy, we all are making a difference, it sounds like, every day. Keep up the great work. I'm sorry we've run out of time. Okay, no problem. Thank you. That's a pleasure to be here, Greg. Very definitely. Stay tuned for a little more with Horry County's treasurer, Roddy Dickinson, coming up next. Didn't you love seeing that smile on Roddy's face right there at the end of the interview as we're talking about the payment plan? What a great program. Or the receipt uh, sent on that postcard. That is another great program, kicking those off. You also heard the excitement there talking about the website and their involvement of really working, reworking that website, orycounty.org. You click on finance, you click on the treasurer's department. Click on the treasurer's department. You're not going to see any more frequently asked questions because they got the answers right there in front of you. If you do have a question, though, give them a call. You heard him say it, 843-915-5470, 915-5470. This is your treasurer, Roddy Dickinson. Thank you, Greg. Thank you again, Roddy.